Hello. Adrian. Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Good. I have uh, a little problems, but. Okay. What what yeah. kind of problems? Uh, well, the, there was a, a message that the host uh, uh -huh. had a, another meetings. Okay. But it fixed it. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, I had a I had the same message, so I guess that maybe I was doing something wrong. But the good thing is already fixed. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So Gilberto, Mario, and Lourdes, welcome. Can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine, thanks. Fine. A lot of a lot of rain. Uh huh. A lot of rain. That's for sure. How do you say "mojarse" in English? To get wet. Uh huh. Yes. Getting wet. Get wet. Get wet. So, what what is the past tense of "get"? Got. 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 All right. So how do you say me mojé? I got wet. I got wet. Yeah, it's just an example. I didn't get wet. Okay, so um, and what are the predictions for tomorrow? Will there be more rain? The same, yeah. like today. <laughs> like today? Yes, for two days. My goodness. Two days, really? Two days. I thought tomorrow will be clear, less, less rain than today. Okay, all right. But I'm not sure. I, is it true that the government canceled work tomorrow? Work, no. Work. <laughs> in, 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 in some institutions? Is it true? Maybe only, school. Only in the schools and the universities. Okay, but I know that the schools and the universities, that was today, but apparently they announced something new recently and they said uh, not only the educational system, but also some other institutions as well. Um, I think that a fake news. Okay, all right. Because some people were already happy. They were already making plans. <laughs> So I guess, I, I guess it's going to hurt when they find out that it was fake news. Fake news. Anyways, do, do you guys have your umbrellas, jackets, and everything with you? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. You have, have to. to. Okay. Does anybody here ride a motorcycle? Anybody in the group? No, no, nobody. No, thank God. <laughs> okay, yeah, because for motorcycle, it's 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 more dangerous. Yes, with the street, because the streets uh, are very. Uh, uh huh. Uh, I, I I don't know the word for. It, does anybody know the word this word? When the streets get wet and you can fall down. Uh huh. You see the chat? Ah, uh, uh, slippery. Slippery. Yes. So you have to be slippery. careful when it's raining because the streets are slippery. Okay. Uh huh. So that means that the brakes, well, the brakes respond, but not the wheels of the car because it's slippery. So you slide the car, and that's how you have. So you guys gotta be extra careful. Yes. Okay. Um, so please refresh my memory. Which topics did we talk about yesterday? Anybody? Adrian, Rick, Gabriela, Julia. Please refresh my memory. What did we do? Gilberto, you were absent yesterday, huh? Yes. Where were you? 
Um, Were you on vacation? No, I I was here with the, with with you. Oh, you were. Yes, at uh, the beginning uh, I had some troubles, but uh, you fixed it. Yeah. Okay. Good. All right. So, can can you tell me what we did yesterday? Anybody? We talked about some words, polite, um, rude. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we were discussing some vocabulary. Uh, to see which ones apply to different circumstances in El Salvador, according to the Salvadoran culture, right? What else? Well, we, we learn to use them. Uh, right. and, and now the, the definition of each word in, in we did some example. Good, very good, very good, yes. Um, have you had the chance to check the platform? Oh, I haven't. Yes, Not I yet. Checked. No. I checked it. Okay, just like I told you yesterday, just make sure that before we finish the week, um, complete all the exercises corresponding to the first unit. I did okay. some exercise, but I, I have one answer. Okay. Okay. Now that you mentioned that, Julia, and this is for everybody, there's going to be times when you give the right answer to the platform, but it will tell you that the that the answer is not good, but don't pay attention to it. That Those are just like uh, technical problems that the platform has. Okay. So, so, uh-huh. But, but I got... Uh, Zero points. Okay, but they, they will they will fix that after they fix it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that. <laughs> so so when you do your homework and you get a zero, don't panic. <laughs> yes, I, I have panic. <laughs> yeah, don't panic. You say, Oh well, Francisco said it's part of the process of plus it's just a platform. So yeah, it happens. Sometimes you give the right answer. But the platform says it's not good, but don't don't, don't pay attention to it. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. So we were discussing um, new vocabulary. What else? What else did we do? Anybody? Uh, we worked in groups. Uh huh. Or uh, what? Okay. Uh, we do some sentences. Okay. Good, good. Now let me ask you, I have eight people connected right now. In real life, do you guys know each other by any chance? Uh, no. No? No, really? No. Okay, good. Yes, I know Julia. We work you know, together. Okay. Yeah. Uh. All right, good. Teresa, how are you? Can you hear me, Teresa? Okay, hold on. Something is wrong here. Hmm. Okay, anyways. All right, are you guys ready to start today? Yeah. Yes. All ready. right, yeah, let's yeah. do this. All right, so yesterday, uh, like you guys were saying, we were using certain vocabulary to describe whether the circumstance was acceptable, not acceptable, polite, and, and things like that. So we're going to be doing some speaking right here. I don't know if you can see the, um, hold on. Do you see the slide? Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, how, do you, do. how do you say borroso in English? Blurry. Yes, blurry. The, blurry. Image, the image is not clear. The image yeah. is blurry, but it's blurry. good enough to create conversation. Uh, I need a volunteer to read the first sentence. You, you, meet people, you meet on the check. 
Okay, you kiss people you meet on the cheek. On the cheek. 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 What is, what is cheek. cheek? What is cheek? Mejia. 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 Right, that's your cheek. Yeah. Okay, someone else, please read the second one. You and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Okay, uh -huh. sounds familiar? Never. No, huh? Okay. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, but... <laughs> Only if necessary. <laughs> but that's when we have a few questions. Or... Sure, sure. Right. And, and, and you are supposed to interrupt me because that's why we're having this session here. Uh, what about number three? You stand very close to people when you talk to them. Okay, next one, someone else? You and your parents talk to Netflix and <laughs> Okay, uh, somebody, one more time. You and your parents? You and your parents talk honestly and openly. Very good. Someone else, the next one, please. You, your best friend? Calls you after 11 p.m. Uh -huh. And the last one. Okay. Um, mm, you start a conversation with a stranger on a bus or subway. Okay, good. So mm -hmm. th that's going to be your first activity. You guys are going to be working in groups. And you will decide if each of the six different scenarios is normal not normal, appropriate, inappropriate. So you give your opinion based on the vocabulary that we reviewed yesterday. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Yes. All right. So here we go. We have 16 people. I'm going to make, uh, I'll make four groups. All right, here we go. Okay, excellent. <clears throat> also, this is the ladies' group, huh? <laughs> okay, start talking. Okay, and uh, kiss people you meet on the cheek. So, I think it's normal. Mm -hmm. You mean, um, yes, um, I think it's appropriate and it's normal. Okay, and, and do you kiss on the cheek like anybody that you meet? Not or, anybody. Or only certain people? Mm. In my case, only, only some people. Okay, all right, Lourdes, what do you think? I think it's normal for, yeah, for, no, not, not all the people I meet. Because, for example, with a customer, for example, I, I, maybe I shake the hand, no, no kiss people on the cheek, so only some people. Right. Well, I think uh, kiss people when you meet on the ship uh, is appropriate, but not all people. I think like they say. All right. Yeah. Okay, Cindy, what do you think? Uh, to the first. Uh, Sentence? sentence yeah the first sentence okay uh, you kiss people um, sometimes independent person okay <laughs> so but it depends I don't, on the I feel, person I, I, I don't like to do that i like to or i feel comfortable when just shake the hands okay good good okay go with the second one i'll come back in a minute okay okay, okay. You and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Mm. Uh huh. I, I don't know, teacher. <laughs> but in, in French, you have to give three kisses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. That, is norm, that is normal for them. In Italy, even if you are uh, meeting a new, another guy, another man, you have to give two kisses. Or in Argentine. Yeah. 
to kiss. For example, in 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 China, the people makes the people makes a reverence. How do you say reverence, teacher? Reverence. Reverence. Yes. Reverence. Reverence. Yeah, yeah and uh, the reverence means uh, respect. You know. Yeah. 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 Respect. Respect. Yeah, and I like that. I like that kind of behavior from people from China because it doesn't matter who is the person. All of them. Yeah. Yeah, okay. they're very respectful. Yeah, they are very respectful. Part of the culture. How is our behavior when you see somebody else? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> only like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That, that is our way to be. Okay. Okay, what else? What else? Well, uh, uh, about the second. Or like, or like when, when you stand very close to people, when you talk up, when you talk to them. It's not correct. Why not? Because uh, you 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 need to you need your space your space um uh, space personal personal space, space. Pe personal space to, to talk space. Or, or physical space to talk uh, is for respect 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 in special when when someone has um when some when at someone stink her his mouth. <laughs> Bad breath. Uh, how do you Bad say breath. Al aliento. Bad breath. Bad breath. Yes. Bad breath. Yes. Bad breath. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm gonna it, put it in the chat. Is is correctly offered um, a gun? <laughs> right. That, that's a very good question. Is it polite to offer a gun? Will the uh, a gum? Not a gun. Gum, gum. No, <laughs> it's it's not. A, a, a He's bullet. not gonna kill himself. <laughs> or maybe you give him a pistol. Hey, you need it. A, a gum. Yeah, gum. Yeah, some people might feel offended. Maybe. Mm. Maybe. Might feel offended. Yeah. Okay. Let me visit another room. I'll be back. Okay. okay. Thanks. Thing that is inappropriate. Yeah, I I, I said to the group that in Spain uh, they have a different culture. For example, they give you two uh, kisses they in the check. They kiss one, twice. One. Yeah, twice. yeah. You can twice. you can kiss them twice. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. it's another culture, you know, European culture. Yeah. Right. But we have another no, 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 no. Yeah. What do you think about the second sentence? Tell the me. second sentence it says yeah. you and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Uh no, I don't like it. I don't <laughs> like it even even in in another situation like uh talk talk shows or sports shows and many people talk at the same time and uh, everyone interrupts to each other for me it's, oh, yeah. it's a bad behavior it's okay. it is not good it's so good for you okay yeah for me it is interesting interest it's annoying it's annoying uh, when people interrupt to each other Okay. They are talking. Okay, continue your, your read and tell uh, us. The about. next one? Yeah, the next okay. one. Okay. He says, because uh, you stand, ah, you stand very close to people when you talk, when you talk to them. Ah, yeah. Uh, it could be uh, uncomfortable, uh, it's uncomfortable, or 
that's a strain or whale? Uh, for me, it's strange. Um, it could be. Uh, it's not. Um, maybe one month ago, I started to talk about with my with my mother about a relationship. Hello, mm -hmm. Cindy. Hello, teacher. Do you remember me? Of course, I remember <laughs> you. <laughs> Cindy right. was my student in Itka. Like yes. what? Seven years ago? Oh, wow. I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah. Yeah. No. I want to uh, birth um, 27. And when you, when I met you, I, I was maybe 20. Oh. Ah, she's very young. Yes, she is. Are you still in Lourdes? Yes, teacher, you are in Lourdes. Yeah, I'm still in Lourdes. Uh, right now I'm in San Salvador, but I live in Lourdes still. Uh, what a small okay. world. And you know, the same thing happened to me yesterday because I have another class from 9 to 10 p.m. And I said, I know this guy. And I said, <laughs> your name is Jose. He says, oh, teacher, how are you? And... <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. I I I didn't remember you. <laughs> Don't worry. Sorry. I'll come I, back I, to I you. I your picture on WhatsApp. So <laughs> I today I I had the opportunity to talk with you. Oh, okay. <laughs> because yesterday I couldn't connect. Right. You were explaining that to me. Okay. Because today I got or uh, uh, I stuck on the traffic. I don't remember that there. I, I was stuck. I, I stuck, was stuck. Yes. I was stuck on the in truck. traffic. Okay. Yes. All right. Good. Good to see you again, Cindy. Me too. <laughs> I will see you in a few minutes. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. In that case, I am sure about her, and she is sure about me. It, the, she has not to feel jealous. It's confidence. Yeah. The, the, and sometimes I can do something bad, but she never knows. <laughs> normal. That is normal. <laughs> what are you talking about? About the last, what about when, when somebody called you after 11 p.m.? I but what about angry. you? <laughs> no, but what about if you are a party guy and somebody called you, hey, let's go to doing something or let's go to eat something or only to have fun, something like this. But you are married, and you know perfectly that your wife becomes angry, <laughs> angry with you. It's true. Yes. That is the problem. It's a big problem. Yeah. True. All right. Wh which one are you discussing right now? The... <laughs> your deal number five. Uh, one, yeah, five. Number five. five. Yeah. Number okay. five. Okay, so you will do the last one right now. Yeah. Okay. Good so we have about two more minutes, and then we come back to the to the main session. Okay. I'll see you in a minute. All right. You will start a conversation with a stranger on a bad the time. Yes, it, it could be a bad news. It, it could be a bad news. Oh yeah. Or may maybe an emergency? Maybe an emergency. Okay, that that's good. Which one are you doing right now? Talking about if you have a friend and he calls you after uh, 11 o'clock p.m. 11 p.m. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe you will be happy, but not your wife or, or, or your girlfriend or your maybe if, girlfriend. If, uh, if she is I, my girl. <laughs> okay. So if she's your girl, it's okay, huh? <laughs> All right. Good. Okay. So let's, let's return to the main session. Oh.
Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? All right. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 All right. Yes. Very good. So, do you guys have any questions about the discussion we were having? No. Any no. particular opinion that you want to share? I heard some funny comments <laughs> with some of the answers. <laughs> All right. So, um, when Hello, you go to, huh? <laughs> Hello, teacher. I'm Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Cindy uh, my partner le left the group. Oh, they left. Yes, every everybody came back to the to the main session. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we go to let's see where is this thing here. <laughs> Uh -huh. Talking about money, huh? Money, money, money. Pay your I like money. El pisto que estaba en agua no te lo daba. Okay. okay, you see the PowerPoint? Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. First yes. I do. Okay, um, let's see this here. Okay, I'm going to mute everybody so you guys hear the explanation here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, excellent. All right. Um, as you can see, when we talk about, when we talk in present, we have three different types of verbs. We have infinitives, we have gerunds, and we have base form. So I'm pretty sure you guys are very familiar with this. Um, let me hold this right here. Infinity. All right. So uh, can somebody read the, can somebody please read the first example? Okay. Um, infinitives, it is okay to watch the dishes if you are the visit. Yes. Okay. Now. Uh -huh. Where where is the infinitive in the first sentence? To wash. Wash. To wash. To wash. To wash. To wash. To wash. Okay, so infinitives is when you use preposition plus Two. the verb. Okay. Preposition plus the verb, that's an infinitive. Oh. Now, infinitive. what is a gerund? Someone else please read the second example. Washing the wash. Okay, mm -hmm. washing dishes. Washing dishes is okay if you are the visit. All right. Yeah. So if you compare the first one and the second one, the message is exactly the it's same. The same. It's yes. exactly the same. Yeah. You're just using a different form of the verb. So once okay. again, infinitives, if you use yeah. preposition plus the verb, and, and where is the gerund in the second sentence? Washing. 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 When you so, use ing at the okay. end of the verb. Good. And 
Okay. Yes. Now, in the lesson, you guys will see in the platform, they don't include the base form option. They will explain to you only infinitives and gerunds. However, it's not bad that you know that uh, you can also use base form when you're using the simple press, when you're using, uh, uh, when you're expressing text. So can somebody please read base form? You should wash the dishes when you are the visit. All right, good. So you should wash the dishes when you are the visit. Do you agree with this? Like you're visiting a friend, you have dinner. Is it, is, is it okay that you volunteer and you wash the dishes? I think yeah. it's okay. It depends. It depends. It depends. Okay. It depends. It depends. It's appropriate. Okay. So it depends. It someone, okay. Someone said it depends on the family. Yes, yeah, Cindy says that. <laughs> okay. Why do you say that, Cindy? Because there are uh, people that don't like to, I don't know how to explain it. They don't like that the people uh, put her, their hands in her, their things. In their dishes. Yeah. For, for, it depends for, on the amount of dishes. That's for, for, uh, yeah. you, uh, Just you know how to watch the dishes. The dishes. <laughs> For example, okay, someone wanted to say something. For, for example, if you visit to your mother in law, it's, it's correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you want to impress her. Yeah, <laughs> okay, fine. All right, uh, anything else about infinitives, gerunds, and base form? So once again, uh, infinitives, you use preposition to plus the verb. Gerunds, you just put ing. And base form, uh, base form usually comes when you use models like this uh, example that we have here. Okay. okay. So let me show you. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Where's the yes. Teacher? I hear you. I am Maribel. Hello, okay. Maribel. I have, a, I have a question. Hi. Yes. Uh, uh, you are talking about very present. Um, yes. Why don't you put uh, a present, pres, pres, normal present, simple present? Uh huh. Oh, uh, uh huh. Uh, I'm sorry, the ING, the, the present progressive, is, uh, is the very singular, in, in, in that case, in this case, uh, washing is a noun, it is an adverb. Okay. Now, when you say walking, uh, that's a verb. In general, but that, like a noun, like a yeah. noun. Like a noun. As a uh -huh. noun. Yes. Okay. No, as a verb. It's not right. a verb. Right. Let, let me show you some some exercises here. Oh, no, not this one. Where is this here? Okay, it's right here. Okay, you guys see the slide? Yeah. 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 All right. Yes. Okay, so there we have, right. So we have five different sentences. Uh, some of them are gerunds, and the others are, and some of them are uh, infinitives. So your mission is to change uh, the sentence uh, to the different form, but just make sure that the example, the message, mm. stays the same. Mm. You see it? Yes. Okay, so uh, let's say the first one. It says, using certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries. How would you change this to the uh, infinitive? Is it, it is polite to is use certain, to use certain, certain gestures in some foreign, in foreign countries. countries? Okay, using certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries. So, okay, can, can you change that to use the, the, the infinitive form? Yeah. 
only uh -huh. saying that verb. Julia? To use, to use certain gesture is in polite and foreign language. Okay, so to use. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, so let, I'm going to make groups one more time and you guys discuss this right here. I'll be back. Okay. 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 Here we go. <laughs> Ay, déjame clean. <laughs> Hello again, girls. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello. Let me let me see how many people I. Um. We have four. In platform, teacher, in platform, four. we have a an exercise similar like this, but uh, when you try to to change the sentences all the time, are wrong. Really. Um, yeah. Like I was telling you earlier, and the ones that were here in the previous uh, module, you know that even when you give the right answers, the platform is going to say that your answer is not good. Yeah. Even though you know that the, your answer can be perfect. So just leave it like that, and, um, and you know that they're going to make the corrections after. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so mm -hmm. discuss this one here. Mm -hmm. So, because on Monday we are going to start with the unit four, for example. Okay. okay. Teacher, can can we see the sentence, please? Sure. Can you share? Okay. So on the first sentence, I'm using the the infinitive. It's correct to say to use something has shares. It's simple like in some foreign country. Right. Or you can start the other way around and say, it is impolite in some foreign countries to use certain gestures. Yeah. So you can, yeah, yeah. You can switch the position of the words. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The second one, to ask someone age is often considered good. good. Um, okay, Rodrigo, Maribel, Jose. Okay, is um, I can I can switch. You can change to the zero, but let me check check how. Addressing a professor by their first name, it's not unusual in U.S. Yeah, it's not unusual in the U.S. to address a professor by their first name. That's in uh, infinity, but uh, we no, try to... Yes, please. Try, try Sorry? to change. Try to change to the other form. Sure, go ahead, yeah. change it. Okay, let me try. Uh, you know, addressing a professor by their first name is not unusual in the U.S. Very good. Very good. Okay. Next okay, one. The next one. One volunteer. Mm -hmm. Said saving saving money is a wise decision. Mm -hmm. That's in Jeron. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Because I add ing to the to the verb. Yeah. Let me try. Let me try. Okay. 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 It is a wise decision to save money. Good. Thank you. It is a wise decision to save money. I think it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. And the last one said, "It's not. It's not strange to dream at the stadium. At the stadium. Stadium. Infinity." Infinity. It's an infinitive. Okay. Can I try? Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Drinking at the stadium is oh, uh, it's not that strange. Very good. Sure. Yeah, hmm. drinking at the stadium is not strange. Not uh, strange. strange. You change to the German form. The right. And, and if, it is good too. 
I think it's okay. <laughs> sure. Well, somewhere, well, somewhere else too. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Join this one. I don't know how to how to change <laughs> that. <laughs> I, 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 it is to ask. It is it to is ask. Simple online. I use it is simple life. In to some ask. For, for, uh, it's simple life. Countries to use certain gestures, but is incorrect. <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's impolite to use certain gestures in some foreign countries. Mm -hmm. That is good. It is? Sure, yeah. It is impolite in some co foreign countries to use mm -hmm certain yes. gestures yes. but is incorrect in the platform <laughs> it's the same um exercise oh really yeah okay teacher but it's incorrect I okay teacher. yes sir and it's impolite to use certain certain gestures in some foreign countries it's not correct no, it is good. You say it is impolite in some foreign countries to use certain gestures. Mm -hmm. You can also say to use certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries. So just make sure that instead of using, using, that's redundant, uh, you say mm -hmm. to use. It doesn't matter if you leave it at the beginning or if you put it in the middle, just make sure that you use to use. Redundant again. Okay. And so it is not important the the position of that. So you need to change to the infinitive. Right. And now in something very important. Now this is a grammatical topic that when you apply this in a real life situation, you can perfectly use it. You can leave it at the beginning or you can move it to the middle. So you can say, to use certain gestures is impolite in some foreign countries, or you can perfectly say, it is impolite in some foreign countries to use certain gestures. So okay. keep that in mind. When you're using grammar, make sure that grammar is not your priority. Remember, your priority has to be communication. And, and then grammar has to be something secondary. Teacher. Yes. And that's similar to passive voices. Uh, well, passive voices are uh, a whole different topic. Uh, the good thing about the passive voice, if you don't like using passive, you can perfectly use active. And you're still saying the same. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Mm hmm so which one are you doing right now? The second one. The second one. The second one. Okay, you guys have like four more minutes and they will return. Okay. So, so make sure that everybody speaks. Evelyn, Douglas, Martin, and Mario. See you in a while. Okay. Um, children. Yeah. So if you if you sh change the sentence, you need to use gerum because gerum drinking you are using, uh -huh, drinking okay. drinking yeah. at, at the, the stadium. stadium. It's not it's not a strange. Uh, easy. Mm -hmm. okay. Or it's not a strange drinking at the stadium. At the stadium. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So you eliminate a two. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Because you okay. are using gerund. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, girls. Yesterday, as I told you, I couldn't take mm -hmm. the class yesterday. Okay. I have problems with logging. So I think we finished the exercise. Yes. Oh, we have complete. Yes. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Fine. So we'll come back to the main session.
Okay, okay. teacher. Bye. Okay, Bye. teacher. All right, uh, any questions right, um, about any the exercise? Mm, right now, no. Okay. Uh, I have, teacher, I have a question with the exercise in the platform. Yes, Rodrigo. Um, is, um, the, the exercise is how to switch the form only. Mm -hmm. So, so what is the question, Rodrigo? Uh, uh, in the in the group, um, I uh, someone told about the the. Someone told told about the correct answer. Okay. And, and for uh, my my question is is how I know uh, how I know uh, what is the uh, uh, which is the the correct answer in this case. Okay. okay. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, yes. All right. Uh, something very important when we are using grammar, um, make sure that grammar is not your priority. It might sound a little bit contradictive, uh, but your main goal is communication. So, yeah. however, uh, with this exercise here, if you see a gerund, all you have to do is eliminate the ing and use the infinitive form and vice versa. If you see the infinitive, just put the ing. So you can perfectly put it at the beginning of the sentence or you can leave it at uh, in the middle and the message will be exactly the same. It will be exactly the same. So, uh, okay. so keep that in mind. Don't worry too much about the answers in the platform, but just make sure that when you're using this in a real life situation, you can perfectly leave it at the beginning or you can put it in the middle and you will found and you will sound uh, just fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. Good. And one more thing, uh, we're almost finished. We only have uh, like seven more minutes. Um, as we talk, I hear, let me see this here. Okay, do you see that paper? No. 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 Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Where did it go? Do you see it? Yeah. 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 Yes, I do. Yes, I All do. Right. So this is related. This is connected to the ED pronunciation. Um, you have seen yeah. this before, and we yes. saw this topic when we were in the previous uh, level, yeah. right? Yeah. So let me ask you briefly: yeah. uh, What is a regular verb? Yeah. It doesn't change the, the structure of the verb in different times. Okay, now when you say different times, uh, what exactly do you mean? Bus. Right. Uh, right. And that's exactly what, when we talk about tenses, in this case in particular, we're talking about pronunciation. Now, um, 
remember that regulars, when you go from present to past, you put ed at the end. So when you see ed, that tells you that you're using past tense. Past tense. Right. right. Now remember but something. Easy. When you're using regulars, you use you put ed at the end, but that ed has three different sounds. Yeah. How do you pronounce this one? Yeah. Help. 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 Wash. Wash. Okay. Wash. Okay. The last one? Cooked. 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 You have cooked. Cooked. Now, cooked. Now, when do you pronounce this? If the termination of the verb is this right here, don't forget that ED sounds like a T. So you say helped, yes. washed, and you say cooked. Cooked. Okay. Now, what is the second group? Just the D. So, if the termination of the sound is this, or Me. if you have A E I O U, then E D is going to Play. sound like Play. the rain. Played. 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 Okay, so, so, so what is the past tense of play? Played. 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 What is the past tense of live? Lived. 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 And the past Lived. tense of rain? Rain. Rain. You say rain. So you said it rained a lot in El Salvador today. It rained a lot. It rained okay. a lot. Okay. Now, and then we go to song number three. What is the past tense of wait? Waited. 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 British. South. Wanted. 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 Needed. Needed. Okay. Now the question is, when do you produce this sound here? When the verb ends in D or T. Exactly. When the termination of the verb is a D or a T sound. Okay. Now, any questions here? No. Okay. So, the same rule, the same rule that we apply for verbs is the same rule that we apply when we're using adjectives that finish in ed. So if you see an adjective that finishes in ed, you're gonna apply the same rule. Okay. How, how do you say emotional in English? Excited. 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 How do you say exhausto? Exhausted. 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 Uh -huh. Right? How do you say cansado? Tired. 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 Okay, remember, you say tired. 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 And tired is not a verb. Tired is an adjective. An adjective. But we apply the same rule that we have here. Okay. Okay. Right? Okay. I got it. Okay. Now, I need a volunteer to read the first, the, the, the introduction of the lesson. As you can see, we have different regular verbs, but all of them, they sound different. Can somebody okay. please read? Okay. Elizabeth graduated last summer. I wanted to take her picture, so she smiled, and I photographed it her with some of her friends. Okay, so what is the past tense of photograph? Photograph. Okay, let, let me ask you something. When you, when you pronounce the word photograph, what is the last sound that you hear? Is the F. 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 Exactly. F. It's, a, it's an F sound. Photographed. So the rule says, if the, if the termination is an F, then E is going to sound like T. Yeah. 
Photographed. 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 How do you say this feeling in English? Right. Parade. 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 So you say, I went to the parade and I photographed all the marching bands. Okay. And number two, be careful with number two because you have all these sounds here plus vowels. What are the vowel sounds? A, E, I, O. Right, A, E, I, O, U. Right? So um, I'm going to send you this picture to the chat. Please. So, so whenever yeah. you guys have the chance to practice uh, this, um, you guys do it. Okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, do you have any questions before we go? Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. No. Is no. everything fine? Yeah. Okay, good. So don't forget to visit the platform. And, and remember what I told you. If, if you know that your answer is good and the platform tells you that it's, that it's wrong, don't pay attention to it because with time, they will fix it and you know it's just a, a, a platform okay. however however whenever you have problems we expect that you report it so we are aware okay okay all right okay, okay so if you don't have any other questions are uh, we going to stop right here have a good night well, thank you uh, thank, thank you for you. making the space Bye -bye. And don't get okay. wet See you. Thanks. See you. Bye. See you soon. Bye bye, guys. See you, See you tomorrow.